Well, the preseason's over with now, and uh, it's on to the, the real deal here starting Friday. I thought that uh, we did a good job in the first half, um, building our lead, and uh, thought we played uh, better better defense in the first half. Obviously, we did. They shot 27%. 38 for the second half, so 33 for the game. It's replaced with Honeycutt's rebounding. Obviously, he had 15 rebounds. All of them on defense. 15 rebounds is 15 rebounds. That's a lot of rebounds. I thought Tyler Lamb really shot the ball well. I was feeling really good about that. Uh, he seems to play well when the lights are on, in particular, which is always uh, nice. I thought Jeremy came in was really solid. And we talked about the fact that he's improved his shooting. Those two threes he hit were both real nice looking shots. I thought Brendan Lane had a particularly good first half. He's got to get better at passing the ball. Uh, you know, he's uh, still a little mechanical on his passing. He's got to be uh, a little better at pass making. We had too many turnovers. Uh, but Stover came in and gave, gave us great minutes up the bench. And it was hard for uh, Josh to handle the ball at times today with his thumb so. Uh, bandaged up, but I wanted him to get some minutes and get out there before we play in a real game. And he got 20 minutes tonight. And, you know, it's just it's so exciting to see a big man dive on the floor for the ball the way he does. I mean, you, you got to be excited about that if you're a fan watching a guy hustle the way he does, getting after it. I mean, I really, really am excited. And he has great hands. It's unfortunate that. Uh, he has a thumb problem. I think we're going to be able to loosen that up, assuming his thumb feels better tomorrow and again on uh, Thursday before we play. We'll probably tape it up really good for uh, for the uh, practice on Thursday, but hopefully a little less uh, by game time, which gives him a little more mobility to move it. Questions? Did he say anything about how it felt? I didn't ask him after the game. I just know he was uncomfortable big time yesterday in practice. We changed the tapings out a little bit today, but still, you know, it's it's really there, so it can't get knocked out of place, you know. And the smart thing to do is an exhibition game. Uh, but his thumb is feeling better. It felt better yesterday. Uh, he got, you know, hit a little bit uh, yesterday early in practice, and uh, I haven't asked him after the game, but uh, yeah, I, I think it's getting better because he felt good again this morning when he woke up in terms of the mobility and there was no pain. Uh, we're just going to be really conservative. You know, you can see we, look, we, we were missing one guy tonight and uh, it, you know, it really makes it more difficult. And, you know, Reeves uh, should be uh, ready to practice, uh, I anticipate, by uh, Thursday again. Tomorrow we will watch film from this game. We'll do a, a, a non-contact uh, hour of practice. Uh, going over some of our stuff offensively and then also going over some of Northridge's stuff, how we're going to guard and defend it. So it would be a very light practice tomorrow without any contact, more of a, uh, you know, mental mental part. Uh, what else? Yeah, so you think Reeves will play yeah, I, Friday night? Assuming that everything goes well, practice on Thursday. Uh, you know, today he, he said it felt real good and uh, it's just... You know, I want to make sure that we don't uh, push him too quick to bring him back. Uh, Tyler Honeycutt had that same injury uh, earlier in the season, and uh, he came back from five. You just you got to you know be smart about not trying to do too much too soon. We'll probably limit him to I don't know. I'll have to talk to Leif, you know, maybe an hour and ten minutes on Thursday. And we'll probably only go an hour and a half. You know, maybe an hour. I don't know. We'll just see what the what uh, our trainer says. Coach, what did you think about your point guard play today? Yeah, I thought that Jeremy uh, did a really nice job. I thought Jeremy's four game was very good out there. Uh, you know, Zeke had four assists and three turnovers. I think again we had too many turnovers as a team. I, I, I was really impressed with Anderson's uh, uh, just his active feet. And we did we didn't do a good job again. You can see we're going to have issues guarding the basketball, and we'll break it down and show every instance tomorrow uh, in an edited. Uh, film session uh, of our ability to guard or, or uh, stay in front of the basketball. Uh, Matt Carlino's status? Uh, you know, I think he saw the doctor before the game today. I, I haven't even asked yet. I'm, I'm assuming 
that he'll be out at least another day, and then you know we'll see how he feels uh, to be able to come back for Thursday. But I, I, that's just me guessing right now, Ben. I'm not really sure. Do you know if it was diagnosed the concussion, or was it just like the yeah, symptoms? You know, I, I don't even know that. He actually passed the test, but I mean, I, I think you know we're just being very cautious, which is you know, smart to be we're, we're cautious and conservative with all these kinds of any injury. Second straight game for Malcolm without any turnovers. Malcolm Lee, is, is that something that, that you really stressed him over the offseason, just making better decisions? Yeah, and you know what, I, I, he's done a good job, and I was just, you know, he cramped again. I don't know if you guys noticed that. That's why he came out of the game, didn't play as much. He was cramping with about 12 minutes to go, and really didn't yeah, put him back in, and then he had to come right back out. And so I was actually talking with uh, one of our team doctors, Dr. DiFiori, and, and uh, Leif, our trainer, and uh, the answer is more sodium. So we need more sodium. At least uh, that's what I was told. So, and I'm telling you, he, he drinks like five of these huge Gatorade bottles this size, you know, before the game, during the game. So I mean, it's, you know, he played 18 minutes in the first half. So he probably played maybe a couple more minutes than, than I probably should have played him. But it's three days before the uh, opener. Where do you, you feel good about where you are going into the season? Yeah, I would like to be uh, completely healthy. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I'm excited for about our team. we got to get better defensively, and we're going to get hurt by better teams, which are all coming up on our schedule here starting Friday, if we don't really focus on that and get better at that. But we're doing a lot of good things, too. I, I think we're sharing the basketball. We had 22 assists tonight and 31 baskets. Uh, did a good job shooting the ball from three-point range. Uh, which, you know, I expect us to be able to do. Uh, you know, we, we beat them on the boards again, handily. Uh, you know, we, we've got to keep getting better at executing offensively. You know, being short a guy, I think, makes it harder for us to really have the kind of push we want to have every time we get it. But we'll get better at executing uh, in transition.